Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be whizzing through a hundred things to reuse and repurpose that you have to try. If you're new here and you like things low impact, sustainable and sustainable fashion, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another video in this 100 series. Today's video is exciting because it is sponsored by Grinbag and I have been an ambassador for them for ages. What's great about them is they use waste materials and they upcycle and reuse them to create their bags, which is what this video is all about. We're also doing a giveaway with them, so watch till the end to find out the details for that. You don't need Instagram, it's just right here on YouTube. So grab a cup of tea and let's get straight into the video. Upcycle old bins into plant pots. My mum did this with to one that she wasn't using anymore and it looks pretty epic. Upcycle an old bin into a compost bin if you have a lid for it. Just make sure to drill some holes in the bottom of the bin to allow runoff or drill a larger hole into the side and install a little tap. The runoff from compost bins is actually a great fertilizer, so place it in a jug and when using make sure to really dilute it before watering plants with it. Use an old piece of wood you're not using anymore to make a bee hotel. All you need to do is drill different sized holes into the plank and set up in your garden. This is great for solo bees who need a place to have their little children and don't have a hive to go to. Reuse skincare or beauty product bottles for vases to hold flowers around your kitchen or your windowsill or on your desk. Upcycle beauty pots with pipettes to make an infused food oil to sprinkle over salads or in pants, I mean pans, to cook. Rosemary oil is one of my favourites. Keep glass jars for items you've bought from the store and reuse for leftovers. You can also reuse them if you're DIYing your some fun food or body products. I also use an old jam jar as a water pot for when I paint. You can also use an old glass for holding pens or makeup brushes. Use bigger glass jars as storage containers for soups in the freezer. Just make sure you leave half an inch at the top and never lie the glass down. Store upright. Make kimchi or sauerkraut and use a larger glass jar you want to upcycle to ferment them in. The same can be done with a sourdough starter or to create one. Instead of cling film, literally just repurpose a plate or a bowl to go over the top of the bowl or plate you have your leftovers on. Super quick and multi-purpose. Turn leftover scraps of wood into a side table if you're handy. I've seen loads of people do this and it turns out really great. Use a large piece of scrap wood to turn into a desktop. Turn toilet rolls into little propagation pots. It's a great way to upcycle them as well as save on buying little plastic trays. Turn an old cotton t-shirt into a bag to bulk buy items or vegetables. Turn a flannel shirt or any cotton into cotton cloths for your face. If you sew them into squares rather than rounds you can save a lot of material. Upcycle or repurpose olive oil bottles like this one. I just fill this up and use it as a water bottle for the table or just in the house. If you're cheap like me, then you can use old jars as water glasses. We did this at uni and still do it now. Turn your old bike helmets into hanging pot plants. You're supposed to change your helmet every five to seven years as the material wears down over time. So why not try something handy like this? Use the back of your notepad to use as a postcard, especially if you're interested or good at painting. Or you could use the back of the notepad as a board to attach photos to and create a little photo board for a friend or yourself. Use an old glasses or sunglasses case as a wire case to keep all your cords together, especially when traveling it can be super handy. Turn a big glass jar with a lid into a coin jar or piggy bank. Simply cut out a hole in the top or the sides to slide your coins through. Reuse wrapping paper for another gift. We use a wild amount of single-use wrapping paper for birthdays and other holidays in this world, so why not save it and use it again? Use a vintage or second-hand silk scarf as wrapping paper instead. I do this all the time for wrapping gifts and it means the receiver can reuse the scarf too. Use delivery boxes to store things or organise things in your room. I actually use a box I receive some things in to organise some of my electrical equipment. Reuse a glass bottle with a pump by refilling with a product like conditioner, hand soap or whatever you have access to. Reuse a mint or other small tin to store your hair ties or clips in. Reuse boxes to make posters for digital or in-person protests. Reuse parcels to send your own things so you don't have to buy a new one. If you occasionally get takeaways and have those plastic containers left over, instead of recycling or binning them, try using them for leftovers to store dried goods or sorting things like photographs, wires, shampoo bars, etc. Use old mugs that are chipped and to use them as plant pots for succulents in particular as they won't need drainage holes, just make sure not to overwater. 
Light bulbs often go out and usually we would recycle them, but if you're all at all arty, why not hand paint them to create homemade Christmas ornaments to put on next year's tree if you have one of course. I broke the first tripod that I ever bought recently after having it for years, but I didn't want to give up on it and I needed a microphone stand. So even though the head is broken, it doesn't really matter for my microphone, so I repurposed it and got a new attachment so that it would work instead of me buying another one for a stand and getting rid of this one. Turn those large retro looking tomato tins or even just normal cans into plant pots. I personally think they look really cool. Reuse food waste to dye your clothes. I've said this before, but I'll say it again because Shelby just used avocados to dye her clothes pink. So, so cool and fun. You can also use an old sriracha bottle for making infused oils. This was Shelby's idea. She helped me out with the next couple of these. Repurpose your banana peels to wipe on the leaves of your plants. Shelby swears by this as a great fertilizer and way of keeping them healthy. If you're a fan of candles and have lots of endy bits, why not throw them all together and melt them down to create a new candle? The same can be done for soap. If you always have a little bit left over that you can't really use, just pop them in a jar and add some water. By the morning, you'll have something you can use. You can also fashion a bird feeder out of a toilet paper roll, or even just use them for crafts with kids. They're super versatile and can honestly be used for so many things. Lots of people ask me what to do with old socks. Well, here are a few ideas. If you have kids or you're generally a crafty person, why not try making sock puppets a la Phoebe from Friends? You can also sew up any holes and use them as conditioning socks for your feet or even hands during the evening when you're sedentary or when you're sleeping. Just apply moisturizer and pop your socks on. Just a reminder guys, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up so that it really helps me in this YouTube algorithm. Okay, you can also use old socks as rags to clean surfaces or your bathroom. If you get injured or like to treat old sports injuries after you work out, just like me, why not try using old socks as an ice pack cover to protect your skin from ice burns? If you eat eggs like my family do, not me of course, then you'll probably have some leftover egg cartons. My family either tear them up and add them to their compost or they simply reuse them to propagate little seeds before planting in a bigger pot. You could also totally paint them and use them as gift packaging for mini cupcakes or kids presents etc. If you're a wine drinker like myself, why not save the corks and create a cork board instead of buying one? They look pretty cool and are damn useful. Shelby is also saving her corks to create a mat, which I think is a great idea too. They're so versatile, you could even create little coasters for hot drinks or a teapot. You can of course reuse your wine bottles too. Fill them with lights to create a sweet effect on a table setting, used to fill with dry goods which makes them easily pour out or a few other things like water. Or you can add an oil funnel to the top of the bottle and add oil, garlic, chili, whatever you want to infuse. Another way to reuse a glass jar is to keep a little compost bin in your bathroom, especially if you're using compostable floss, etc. If you're making your own DIY candle or having a go at them, then using glass jars you already have is a great way to upcycle them without the worry of ruining a jar. If you ever get glass bottles or fizzy water, you, you can turn these into cleaning bottles all you need is a spray lid to go on top. If you occasionally find yourself with plastic bags and you're not sure what to do with them, here are a few ideas. I use them to line small bins like in your bathroom. I also use them for wet or dirty clothes whilst I'm traveling or going swimming, etc. Especially if you don't have a wet bag or if you have reusable pads or period underwear like I do, they are great to keep them separate from the other stuff in your bag. I also use plastic bags as packing cubes for traveling as well. I don't like the idea of having to buy an extra bag just to separate my stuff. I also use canvas bags as packing cubes too. This helps not only to separate clothes but also shoes, wires and other necessities I have to travel with for work. If you use aluminium foil, it's actually not a single use item. If you rinse it, you can use it again and again, or you can scrunch it up and use it as a scourer on metal pots, though never use it on non-stick pans. You can also fashion old pieces of clothing into oven mitts. They are genuinely so many great ways to reuse fabric or old clothes, and especially this one. Again, if you have clothes and you are handy with a needle and thread, then turning your clothes into doll's clothes is a pretty neat way to reuse it. Another way to reuse glass jars is in gifting, especially if you love to make homemade chocolate truffles or other consumables that you can give people as gifts. Old newspapers can be used to clean glass, especially if you have some lying around. If you live in a big city where you frequently pick up a free one but don't just want to recycle it, then this is a good way to use it. You can also place it in your compost after ripping it up. Or you can use it to wrap presents, just maybe make sure you have a happy headline, if there is such a thing anymore. 
If you have pets, then you can use newspaper to line a pet cage. Old pillowcases are great for storing bread to prevent air letting it go stale. We also use pillowcases to buy bread from our bakery so we don't need to use one of their bags. If you use a dryer and find a lot of lint accumulating, place it in a jar and use it to light fires another time. It's great and lightweight for camping. Again, if you or your family eat eggs, then don't just throw away the shells. Grind them up and sprinkle in your soil as it's rich in calcium will help add nutrition to make soil healthier. Upcycle random jars or antique pots you have and turn them into a lamp just like my mum did with these beauties. Reuse clothes as rags to clean your bicycle. If you're anything like me, I like to have a different set of rags for my bike because they get very oily and very dirty. Reuse toe clip straps from your bike to tighten or hold other things together if you decided to use cleats instead. Use a jug as a vase. Upcycle socks as a duster as well. Those little tags you get with bread or other items that need containing, use them to help keep cords together and organize them. Create mini greenhouses with old plastic bottles for your seedlings on your windowsill. It's super easy to do and really helps to trap the heat and help propagation. Reuse candle jars or normal glass jars to plant a little terrarium. Paint and reuse tins as candle holders for the outdoors. You can actually make a waste paper basket out of newspaper rather than relying on plastic big bags or bin liners. Use old milk jugs as dispensers for things, especially if you're handy or have kids. You can also use an old glasses case as a mini portable sewing kit for all your essentials. Good for sewing up holes on the go or whilst traveling. This one is actually from you guys. If you have a t-shirt but it has a stain on it, which means you're likely to throw it out, then try your hand at embroidery or sew on a little patch from Etsy to cover it up. I also just wanted to add in, if you notice lots of certain things piling up that you could reuse but don't really need any more of, really consider whether you want this item or to bring it in so many and if there is a package free alternative anywhere else. Turn an old bread bin of yours or that you have picked up from the side of the road or from a thrift store and turn it into a charging station. It keeps things super neat and tucked away. Another one from Shelby is to turn a plastic water bottle into a funnel. Repurpose old drawers into plant holders for decoration or a mini raised bed. I repurpose glasses all the time to regrow vegetables in, but again, you could just use a glass jar you already aren't using. Make your own reusable bowl covers. I don't think they need to be silicone or whatever to work properly. I regularly use tea towels to cover things, so why not have a go at creating your own bowl covers out of old clothes or materials you have that you would otherwise just be wasting. Turn ugly jumpers or moth-eaten ones into mittens or a teapot cover or even a cover for your hot water bottle. Repurpose an old spice jar to make DIY dry shampoo in. I saw a great idea on Pinterest by craftinvaders.com where someone turned the metal frame of a lampshade into a plant pot stand. So clever. Turn pallets into a coffee table. That's what we did at home. We sanded, we stained, and we added wheels. And voila. Upcycle boxes you receive with items from online into storage for under your bed. Create a bookshelf out of crates. Just paint them or stain them or colour how you like, nail them together and there you go. Create a mirror from an old frame, like I've done with this one. Sew together a little makeup bag or purse from waste materials like clothes that you don't want to throw away. Watch next 100 ways to reduce your food waste or 100 zero waste swaps that you have to try. Okay, the giveaway. So all you have to do to enter is simply click the link in the description. There are gonna be two winners and it's gonna be for the reflection bag. I love the reflection bag because it is just so handy when you're cycling, even just at night time to have a little bit more kind of visibility and also just in general, it's really cool. So all you have to do is click the link in the description and enter that way. It doesn't have to be on Instagram. It's literally just here on YouTube because lots of you guys always say you don't have Instagram. So I wanted to make sure that it's gonna be easy for you guys too. And then in five days time, it's gonna end and you'll get an email to let you know. Also, as another extra gift, as we never do this usually, we're gonna give 10% off to everyone who enters the giveaway, regardless of whether you win or not. So if you have been looking for one, but it's been a little bit out of your price range, then hopefully the 10% can help you out. And that's it guys, it's gonna be last for five days, there are gonna be two winners, it's gonna be the reflection bag and you can choose whatever color you want. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.